Welcome to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Katie Draybot. Uh, where in the world are you right now? Um, I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, so good yeah. thing we were talking in Pacific Standard Time. I know, I know. I really had to do the math on that one for a second. <laughs> that's That's been my whole week. I've like talking to everyone being like, okay, it's your, it's your time and then carry the two and yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so what are you doing in Louisville? Um, so originally I came out here because Brooke Forty lives um, in Louisville and at the time that was kind of the best situation for us. There was still a pool open when we got here mm -hmm. um, and then I was talking with my parents and if the pool were to close, which it did, um, it's still a reasonable drive away mm -hmm. so they could still come pick me up. Um, so we got here, I think we had three pool sessions before it closed. Okay. Um, and then we've just kind of been out here hiking, running, biking, whatever. And then I was supposed to go to Colorado because there was a potential pool open there with a teammate of mine. And then last minute that got canceled. So now I'm with my brother who thankfully lives in Louisville too. Um, okay. And then I'm headed home tomorrow finally. So to yeah. home to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a six hour drive. So okay. it's not, it's not bad, but you know, six yeah. hours is, you know. <laughs> it's a ways. It's a I mean, ways, it's exactly. I mean, I guess now though, like what else, what else is there to do during the day? Exactly, there's nothing and he's working and I feel like I'm in his way. So gotcha. at this point, I think going home, having my space, I'll start school on Monday. So I'll get busy with that. Okay. Um, we have exercise equipment in our basement, so there's just as much to do there as there is here. So, yeah. and I'll be with my family, so that'll be good. Nice. And then are you going to be in Wisconsin indefinitely? Um, until we find some training location. Yeah, that's okay. the plan right now. I don't, again, it's, it seems like it's changing day by day. Yeah. Definitely. Like I was literally outside of the airport when I changed my mind to not go to Colorado. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. So. Okay. Um, yeah. So with that, uh, I know that you went to pack 12s mm -hmm. and then I'm, I'm guessing from there, things started kind of snowballing, um, exactly, into, yeah. into your current situation. Could you take me through those two or three weeks of kind of, yeah, how all these things started happening? Yeah. So, um, when we were in pack 12s or at pack 12s, uh, this whole virus thing was still kind of new. I think it was just coming to the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't, we were wearing masks in the airport just to um, be safe, but it still really wasn't that that big of a deal yet. And got back, kind of had normal training schedule for the next week or so. And then it seems like it was um, maybe Monday of the week after we got back from Pac-12, so things kind of started to pick up, like, uh, classes week nine and week 10 were all online and then it seemed like pools were kind of starting to get shut down and mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday the week before NCs or the week before we were supposed to leave that everything started to happen so quickly like hour by hour that uh, different conferences were dropping out and then we found out that the NCAA canceled all com competitions so mm -hmm. Uh, we had a team meeting that day and just kind of talked about the situation and what that meant moving forward. And it was kind of the next couple of days that, you know, one day we were swimming, we were practicing is fine. The next thing I was on a flight out to Kentucky. So uh, it happened quickly and it was something that was kind of hard to process, I guess. And I think it took me until I was out here to fully process what everything meant. And, and then when we were out here, that's when we found out, there's cancellation of trials in the Olympics and uh, oh I think I lost you on audio a little it's all good can you hear me yeah 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 yeah, okay. yeah so um I think just moving forward if health and safety is a priority that this is all for the best yeah do you, do you feel like you've had time to kind of process, you know, the NCAAs and then the Olympic 
Olympics and Olympic trials. I mean, do do you do you feel like you've that you mentally have have had time to sort through some of that? I think so. Um, I think it took me a while. I mean, yeah. as soon as it happened, it didn't seem r- real, and I think I just kept thinking like, "Oh, it will go back. We're fine." And then yeah. all, everything just started to pick up. Um, and I think I was little stressed at first with everything going on especially with pool shutting down and the olympics still going on or supposed to be in 2020 that's when i think i was kind of in panic mode it's like all right what am i supposed to be doing Mm -hmm. since i don't have access to a pool but i'm supposed to be ready to go by june end of june so i think once there was the postponement i was a little bit at ease and uh kind of able to wrap my mind around things and uh make sure that my health and safety was a priority and knowing that we get a whole extra year to prepare. Um, I think that was, that kind of put my mind at ease, but still, it's still just, it seems so surreal. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Um, what, what has your time outside of the pool been like? Have you enjoyed the hikes and bikes and runs and whatever else? Definitely. Um, I definitely prefer the water. (laughs) <laughs> over land yeah. I've been super sore you can ask my brother I've been walking around like a zombie because I just can't walk after running and doing a bunch of dry land <laughs> stuff but yeah um it's been good I think it's been good to kind of restart and you definitely don't realize what you have until it's taken away and I think that's at first I was lacking a little bit of mo- motivation I think and now I've definitely gained it back and as soon as there's a pool open I'm going to be ready to get back to work and get ready for 2021. Yeah. Have what's, what has been the the activity that you have enjoyed the most outside the water? Um, it's a good question. Definitely not running. (laughs) None of them. (laughs) Definitely not running. (laughs) Biking's been like, so, so I've kind of tried to stick to things that I'm familiar with and nothing that we don't do outside of our training even though running's new we do a little bit um so i've kind of enjoyed doing circuits i think switching it up and doing a mix of like core and legs and arms um certain amount of times through i think that's been good and uh kind of leaning on teammates also has been good i enjoyed hiking that was i like being outdoors um but yeah nothing nothing is I'd say equivalent to swimming. I'd much rather be in the water. (laughs) Gotcha. Um, Have you, have you been able to communicate with a lot of your teammates through this? Yeah, we've been having uh, weekly zoom calls as a team, just kind of catching up what's new in everybody's life. For most people, it's not much. Mm -hmm. Um, But also when I was out here in Kentucky, I was here with Brooke and Lauren Pitzer. So we had a good group, small group, um, which was nice. You know, it, didn't seem like it was a complete just jump to being by yourself having to find motivation in yourself um but yeah we've been connecting i've been keeping in contact with as many teammates as possible and um teammates from stanford and national team uh teammates we've been making sure to communicate and just kind of talk about where we're at and yeah it's been good though i think that definitely has helped for sure i mean i think um i mean i think certainly for me talking about it with other people and just kind of uh putting it into perspective and also making it a little more real you know Mm -hmm. like you mentioned it's just so surreal and it's like i think yeah talking about it certainly helps to process and be like well no this is actually happening no definitely and at first i mean everything you take everything so personally, but then once you realize that it's affecting everybody, I think that kind of, I don't know, it's, it's good to know that it's like, not just you, you know, everyone's going through it, everyone's in the same situation. So it's nice to lean on one another in times like these. Right. It's like, yeah, no, almost no one can swim. No one has toilet paper. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we're all in the same boat here. Exactly. Do, have you been have, have you gone to the grocery stores have have you had any experiences with um with zombified customers trying to fight you for toilet paper i haven't i personally haven't um 
but I, I mean, it's bizarre. I, I like shopping at Trader Joe's and they have little like yeah. lines on the ground for where to stand next. And they only let certain amounts of people in the store at a time. And mm -hmm. I mean, some aisles are just completely just gone. Yeah. It probably is the toilet paper aisle. But <laughs> I haven't, I know they're rationing it at certain grocery stores. Yeah. Uh, my mom was saying that the store we shop at at home, like is allowing one roll or not one roll, one pack. Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying it, but one per person. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> which I crazy. think is good. It, I, I couldn't. I've talked about it. I. That's the thing that I've talked about most with people on these calls, and like that I'm trying to process that I still can't. Yeah. It's just like, like that's the first thing people went for. I know. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but you know, it doesn't. It's, it's okay. Um. So. Uh, outside of like, you know, staying physically fit, have you picked up it? You know, I think you're still in school or do you still have school? Uh, we're technically on spring break right now. Okay. Gotcha. But so spring quarter will start this m upcoming Monday. Okay. So have you picked up any new hobbies or, or, uh, you know, have, have you been watching anything good, reading anything good? Um, I've been watching a little bit of TV. I'm, I've never been a big TV watcher. Mm -hmm. I always think like, if I have time, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> but um, I've been trying to read a little bit more with school that gets a little bit tricky because I'm always trying to, you know, get swimming done, get my homework done, and whatever leftover time I have that's for eating, sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I've been reading Beisel's book, which so far so good. Nice. Um, yeah, she's been a big mentor to me, uh, kind of growing up and a big inspiration. So definitely want to support her and um, buying her book for one and then just reading about her journey. Mm -hmm. But so far, that's it. Um, haven't really done a whole lot. I mean, we've been trying when I was with Brooke and Lauren Pitzer, we really tried to stay active and do things outside. Yeah, um, we did bake a little bit. Um, so we were always trying to find new recipes, whether so either it was baking or um, we would cook dinner some nights or cook um, sides of dinner. So that was fun. We really yeah. enjoyed looking up recipes on Pinterest and trying them out. Some, uh -huh. some were better than others, but. <laughs> was there a best or a favorite that you had? Mm, I'd say for desserts, <laughs> we made these coconut bars. And I'm not like a huge coconut person, but they were so good. And then um for savory dishes we made spicy brussels sprouts for dinner one night mm -hmm. and i love brussels sprouts so yeah um those are a huge hit how did you spice them like what made them spicy um you mix sriracha honey and lime juice and then after you kind of bake the brussels sprouts in the oven you drizzle that over the top oh wow so they're yeah, good that sounds that sounds quite it's good a little crispy on the outsides Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Is your, do, do you cook with your brother also? I have been a little bit. Um, I mean, I've been trying to help out as much as I can over here. I don't want to just, you know, be, be a here to sleep on his bed and that's about <laughs> it. So I've been helping yeah. out in the kitchen. We made, um, again, I'm kind of more the side dish person. He's been, you know, grilling the meats, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I made the Brussels sprouts for him. Nice. <laughs> and then we made like a mushroom uh, risotto. So, okay. I've been helping out, you know. Yeah. Not much. Yeah. So, have you picked up any habits that just because you have so much free time that you're just like, oh, I might as well do this? Or have you lost any habits because like you're not swimming five hours a day like you normally would? Um,. I've definitely noticed that like showering that's something that like just because we're in the pool and in the water and we have access to that to our locker room um like that's something now that's like oh I need to do that maybe like once a day once every other day <laughs> right uh changing into like normal clothes I guess I mean for me normal clothes is still like sweatshirt sweatpants but like getting out of my pajamas yeah um yeah, I mean, I'd say for the most part, that's about it. Just mm -hmm. kind of little things. That we 
Yeah, right. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely different. Um, yeah. Is there anything specific you're looking forward to once you get home to Wisconsin? I think just being home with my family. Uh, I've been home since August. I've only been home once. I didn't go oh, okay. home for Thanksgiving break. I ended up just staying out uh, after Golden Goggles instead of flying back to Wisconsin, flying back to school, and then we would have flown to Georgia for nationals, flown back. Then we yeah. went to Colorado for a teammate's wedding, and then I went up gone, gone home. So I just tried to limit, uh, tried to take away a trip if I could. So I stayed back for Thanksgiving, and then our winter break was cut short this year because because of how our academic year fell, we would have had one less day at the OTC. Okay. So then we pushed, instead of reporting to the OTC on the 27th, we came the 26th. So okay. um, I don't really get a whole lot of time at home. So I think really just uh, spending time with my family, getting to sleep in my own bed, see my siblings, uh, spend time with my parents, my, my cats. Um, yeah, just like the little things that you miss out on from being at school all the time. Yeah. What, how many, how many of your siblings will be there? Um, for sure one. So I'm one of four. Okay. Uh, my brother's here. So I'm making up that time now. Um, yeah. And then I have a younger sister who's still in high school and then an older sister who's in PA school. That's mm -hmm. about 10 minutes away from our house. So, oh. um, yeah, so it works out. She now lives home, but I think I don't know where she is right now. I think she might be up in Minnesota, but she might come back. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. She's kind of a hit or miss when I go home. So <laughs> for sure one, maybe two. <laughs> gotcha. Um, do you guys have like family traditions or little things you all do when you get together? Not really. I think it's just trying to spend as much time as possible together um, and just not isolate ourselves, you know, now with all of us being kind of everywhere around the country, we really cherish the time that we do have together. So making sure that uh, we're hanging out and uh, I don't know, just keeping in touch as much as possible. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, no, nothing special. I mean, our family is more of just to kind of chill and hang out, maybe watch TV. Um, yeah, I mean, we value our meal time, so I'm sure we'll have some nice family dinners together. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do, have you seen Tiger King yet? I haven't. My sister has been telling me about it, and a lot of people actually have been telling me about it. I have not watched it yet, but I've heard it's very interesting. Have you? It's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, really? we've 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 been knocking out a lot of series. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that I've been asking everyone about Tiger King because I think it's interesting to hear their thoughts, and it's a hot topic right now but um yeah no i would recommend it it's it's a wild ride uh, really yeah you know big cats potential murder <laughs> potential um people going to jail and oh, this, wow. yeah that's it's all over the place wow um but yeah if you haven't watched it i no spoilers uh all right but yeah i would recommend it yeah definitely i'll be up for it. i think in these past like two weeks, I've watched more movies than I have in the past two years. Ooh, yeah. what if what? Give me like your top three, or or just a few that you've enjoyed. We watched Knives Out, which is like a murder mystery. Yeah. Almost good. Okay. Um, what else did we watch? Wait, can so I didn't see it, but like, can you just spoil it for me and tell me how it ends? It ends. But what if people watching this are gonna? We can, okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, we, if we if you want to, I can tell you. Now, I it, yeah, you're right. That's not fair to everyone else. Um, okay, so the thing out is though, good. like halfway through the movie, you think everything gets solved, mm -hmm. and then the whole second half of the movie is just them like totally just unsolving what you think you just solved. Oh wow! If that makes any sense? Yeah. So it's okay. All right. Yeah. Um, um, cool. And then we watched. What's the name? What's the name of the movie that just won all of those awards? Um, it has English subtitles. Parasite. Parasite. That one, like, that was messed up. 
I'm not a big like thriller scary movie and the last like 10 minutes I think of the movie just are crazy yeah like yeah. I think I think I was sitting there with like my jaw just like <laughs> I know I <laughs> wild I did see that one and yeah. Yeah, it's like the first hour and a half, it's like kind of funny and you're like, oh, like this is cool. But there's like a little bit of rising tension, but you're like, mm-hmm. it's okay. And yeah, the last 10 minutes you're like. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting any of it. I mean, I kind of assumed something was going to happen, just the way right. that the movie set up. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting that. No, not at all. Like, <laughs> at all. Yeah. And then we watched It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. About Mr. Rogers. Um, I thought that was good. I mean, I watched that show growing up, so to see... Oh, really? Um, yeah, I did. Nice. I mean, not a ton, but I do remember watching it. Um, yeah. And just to see that that's kind of who he is in real life, and it wasn't just an act that he put on, mm-hmm. um, I thought that was really interesting to learn about, and just, I don't know, I thought that was a really cool movie. So was that the documentary or was that the Tom Hanks movie? Tom Hanks. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I knew, yeah, there was like, the Tom Hanks movie came out, I think like two months before that or something, they came out with like a documentary about mm-hmm. him. And mm-hmm. so I got very confused about which was which. Yeah, no, the Tom Hanks one, which was good. I mean, um, I highly recommend it. You don't necessarily need to be an avid watcher of his show, but. I think it's just cool how they um, just highlight his life and who who he was off screen. Mm-hmm. It was interesting. Yeah, definitely. So I'd say those, those are the top three. Nice. Top three at the time, at the moment. We'll see. <laughs> moment. I'll probably get into more movies. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, well, cool. Any, any closing thoughts you've got? Um, not that I can think of. I mean, at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out my life right figure out a plan so I need to. <laughs> is is there i guess uh, we i've closed a lot of these interviews with something like this you know is there anything you know ev- everyone's in the same boat like you said uh you know there's a lot of club swimmers a lot of college swimmers who who are really hurting because they can't do what they love you know they can't mm-hmm. swim and um we're all in this together but has there is there any advice you, that you would give to them or, or have you found anything particular that has helped you move forward through this? I think staying connected with teammates. And I mean, if you're lacking motivation, express that to someone and try and find someone that you can lean on in these times. Um, whether that's just looking at someone's social media account, I know lots of people are posting workout videos and, um, things of inspiration. So whatever you can take from that. Um, I know I've been heavily relying on my teammates for that inspiration and that motivation. And, um, yeah, I mean, just don't be, don't be afraid to express those concerns to someone. And, um, cause we're all, you know, we're all in this together. Like you said, it's not like, Oh, I think I lost you on audio again crazy part um and I think just finding like little things you can improve upon right now is I think a great time that we can focus on things outside of the water that can make us better swimmers whether that whether that's um improving our mental game improving um nutrition that's one thing right now that I've really been trying to focus on is those two things specifically yeah Um, and just becoming stronger outside of the water you know dry land is a huge component to swimming and it's not, I know we're not necessarily the most coordinated on land, but just pulling up from those, those small, small um, aspects that can just, once you do get in the water, I think they'll make huge improvements. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Katie. Thank you.